said. You said something, and I'm not even going to write here. You said something yesterday in the back row. What did you say to me? When are you going to have your own talk show? What did you say to me? I said, have you ever thought about having your own talk show? Yeah. Well, there's a producer out there who would love to hear you tell him. Okay. Why do you think? Well, I think she's just beautiful, number one, yeah. and naturally, and she's real person and she gets she comes across like that where you want to listen to her and she makes you feel comfortable and she's just so informative about everything and she just you could tell she's the average person making everybody feel wonderful and it's just entertaining and, yeah, yeah, you can. and the thing she was trying to promote her little slim jim spin spin jim come here you hang on that microphone i can sell that i can oh, sell that. I, well you know i'm trying to recover here well, so here from what oh, yeah, what are you I'll recovering from let, let my friend no no wait no no hang on a second you hold the mic what are you recovering from oh just a little sir Surgery, a, a ligament tear. So here's the thing. Uncross your legs. All right. And hold this right here and just do, go put straight in your arm. Okay. And go 10. Actually, that mic doesn't work. It's just a prop. Now, can you just work that one arm? Yeah. In fact, here, hold this for me. Yeah, I can do it with these four fingers. There you go. Awesome. This is oh called my rehab. gosh. What? Oh, we yeah. we yeah. must. Yeah. She didn't tell you all the rest of the part. It's we must, we must, we must improve our bus because if we fear, we'll be wearing a padded brassiere. <laughs> <laughs> That's well, you know what, I love the fact that you thought to say about a talk show, there's a gentleman who's going to get this little, this thing, and she is just oh, awesome, I and mean, she's so like, oh my God, she is the most People energetic. Yeah. Wait, 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 come here, wait, come here, because yeah. this is a great little audition. You think I'm kidding. And We're fun. in negotiation right now. She's what? Fun. I'm fun. fun. Yeah, a people person. She knows how to uh, get into the audience's minds and get us to laugh and relaxes you. And very good with her guests because yes. the other guy was a bit stiff and we're kind of glad to see him go. No offense to him, but she's really a, the person and the, or the lady for the job and she got the balls to do it. So you're going to miss out if you don't get this lady on your show. Now let me ask you another question. Given what you know about me, and you can back this a little bit, he's like up my nose. Well, given what you know about me, what might you, because there really is a, an executive producer who's going to get this tape. What might you want to hear about? You guys are ladies. I love talking to my ladies. Yeah. Every once in a while, like, I like my men. Can you read that? Can I read that? Sure, if I squint like that. No, it needs to be bigger. It needs to be bigger, yeah. Um, what would you like to hear me talk about? What do you want to know if it's um, a talk show? It could I be just anything. Want, I just want to talk about men. Like, oh, um, yeah. Can you find <laughs> one? Can you yeah. find one? Can you find a good one? I'm um, I just Where want, I want all this double stand. I want, like, the woe man show. The woe man show. Like, Whoa. you know, like, you know, these things like Tosh and, you know, all that. It's like everything is about men taking, I don't know, whatever they want or, you know, with the women. It's just we need respect. We God, need, they need a class. You need to get a session class? to teach yeah, me we about need to etiquette. Call it good old fashioned romance. The woe man show. Courtship. They're not doing that. They want you to pay for them and get them up and down. I'm tired of it. So, and not do well, nothing. Wait, we got a Conway. The, the men are having an opera. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Come follow me. Listen, all right. We got a little riot going on over here. <laughs> <laughs> now, sh they're rioting over there. Um, if I do, when I do a talk show, what would you like to hear? What would I like to hear? I'd like to hear straight talk like you do. Honest talk, and he said engaging because you are engaging. Thank you. But you don't, you know, cut through the chase. Be, right. Be clear about what you're saying to people. And on top of that, when you're talking about the books and everything, right. you really do get people to understand what it's about. Because up until then, it was like clueless. Thank you very much. <laughs> So you guys, now, apparently the women, did you hear this, by the way? No, because this is important. I did a talk show a long time ago, and the executive producers thought it was a good idea to pull all the men out of the audience and make yeah. it a women's yeah. only. No, no, no. Uh, no, we want the men to hear how to help us. There you go. By the way, you had your hand on his knee. Do you know him? I was just going, wow, this is kind of fun. Did you guys just meet? Did I make a romance? I picked him up. No, no. How long have you guys been married? 1965. Oh, I'm my. Wrong. I can't do the math. Who cares? 1965. <laughs> oh, wait, no, wait. You guys down there who are single, shh, this is important. These guys have been married since I was a baby, since 1965. <laughs> Tell me one of the secrets to staying married so long. 
more money than the whole first row this week. How crazy is that? Crazy. So let me share something. You want to tune up your you want to tune up your listening, you want to get some questions ready and really think about how this man and what he does could help change your life. This right, is a powerful your powerful show. So I'll see you guys a little bit later. Just uh, having some fun. We'll be spinjimming in the audience too. All right. Turn that off cuz now I'm paranoid. All right. So let me